Hey guys, my name is Joseph and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to control your air conditioner using Arduino. A few months ago, I made a video showing how I controlled my air conditioner using Arduino and many of you asked me how I did that. So today I decided to show you step by step of it. I'll explain almost everything from the circuits we are going to build to the code we'll use to control the air conditioner. So guys, let's get started. So guys, for this project we are going to use an infrared receiver module, a transistor, an infrared LED, the sensor for temperature, a resistor, some jumpers for making the connections, an Arduino Uno, and a breadboard. For more details, do check out my blog. The link is in the description below. Well, the first circuit that we'll be building, it's gonna be for us to be able to get the codes from the remote. So, for this purpose, we'll use the infrared receiver module. The connections are very simple and you can find all the diagrams and the source code on my blog. Alright, now let me explain something quickly. The codes we need, they must be in a form of an array of numbers. Reminding that we can get the hexadecimal codes from the remotes of a TV for example. But in this case, we need an array of codes to control the air conditioner and not a hexadecimal code. Alright, here is the Arduino code we'll use to get the array of of course we work from the remote. Make sure you install the required library before uploading code to your Arduino board and the link is also in the description below. This code is going to help us get all the array of codes from each button of the remote. However, in this video I'll be working only with the button for turning on and off the air conditioner and, and of course if you want to use the codes from each button, you'll need much more memory than what we have on the Arduino Uno because the Arduino Uno only has 32 kilobytes of flash memory, which is not enough. So, uh, my code is already uploaded onto my Arduino board and now let me get the first code I, I want from, from my remote. You see, when I press the button for turning on the air conditioner, I get this array of numbers on my serial monitor. Now, what I'm, I'm gonna do is to copy this code on notepad and save it. Do the same with yours, because we'll need it to use on another Arduino code. After copying the, the first code, now press, press the button to switch off the air conditioner so that you get another array of numbers on serial monitor. Copy it on notepad, then save it. Alright, now that we have the codes from the buttons of the remote, we can start making the connections for the second circuit, which will be responsible for turning on the air conditioner automatically.
remember to use the right resistor on the middle pin of the transistor, otherwise it's not gonna work. After connecting the resistor on the middle pin of the transistor, the other side of the resistor, you're connected on the digital pin number 3 of the Arduino Uno. And if you're using Arduino Mega, connect it on the digital pin number 9. So, this is the code we're gonna use to control the air conditioner. The first thing you have to do is to install all the libraries you need for this code to, to, to work. And then replace this array of numbers with the ones you got from your remote. Here, I wrote a conditional statement to control the air conditioner according to a certain level of temperature. You can also work with these values. This code is not done yet, I guess I still have to improve a lot of things. Anyways, you can also make some changes if you want. Now, let's upload the code and see how it's gonna work. Now, let me open the serial monitor so that I can see how much of temperature it is measuring. So, you can see that it is measuring 26 degrees Celsius. And as this value is greater than 19, the air conditioner is switched on. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can ask me by leaving a comment. I'll make sure I reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time.